The glaring negative effects of climate change affecting the entire world call for protection of the environment and sustainable use of natural resources. We are focused on impact and we are focused on growth and development. So we have tried as much as possible to simplify those processes um, in terms of and do it in a safe manner, including because we're also considering the environment we're in now in the COVID period and so on. As much as possible where we can, we will try and use all the channels, even our digital channels where necessary. The partnership of Uganda Green Enterprise Accelerator and Equity Bank intends to provide affordable loans to the hundred selected small and medium-sized enterprises to achieve extensive economic growth. COVID-19 already topping up on other challenges that SMEs are facing in terms of capacity, their ability to operate very effectively. So this is blending both technical support to the SMEs and concessional financing. These are discounted loans that will come from Equity Bank and they will be discounted by UGEFA directly so that these companies can be afforded a chance to receive affordable finance. The European Union is taking an intermediate role in this partnership while supporting the ongoing ecosystem building activities. Supporting the micro, small and medium enterprises to, pay, to play their role in uh, contributing to sustainable growth. In order to do that, when you focus on the private sector, one of the key constraints for the private sector to step up its efforts and contribute to green economy is access to finance. So when you support them, you need to work in uh, ensuring that not only they have the capacity, the knowledge, the right business plans and bankable projects, but that they can be helped to link up to the right financial partners that are willing and ready to provide. The fund is targeting a big number of small and medium-sized enterprises and a facility of 6.1 million US dollars has been allocated by Equity Bank to support the development goals which emphasize modern green economies. Lydia Chomkama, UBC News.